Oh well, here's another cheap and very ugly 1970s stereo. And how I got this one was, I was on Craigslist and I was like, look, and I saw this 1930s like radio for free in the lane and I was like, hey, I'll go get that. But of course, by the time I got that, by the time I went there, which was a few hours later, uh, it was gone, of course, because people know to take the good ones and leave these shitty things behind. So this is what was left of the two radios, this piece of shit. I took it, and then I opened it, and I realized someone had stuck all this shit inside, and they had removed the speakers. So I just took some TV speakers and botched them in here, just to get it to work. All the controls are super dirty. The 8-track player, the belt is broken, and some of the wheels are loose and broken. It's destroyed. This did come with some 8-tracks. I'll just show you them. They're so crappy. This is like a record your own type thing. I'm probably going to smash these things. These things are junk. Oh, yes. Groovy. Look at that haircut. Wow. Bobby Vinton. Party music. 20 hits. Wow. This is probably worth $1,000 on eBay. Look at that. Dial in on that right there. Yeah, baby. 1970s. Ugh, that is the most 1970s thing I've ever seen. Duke Grant plays Hammond Gold. Ooh, so del How deluxe. Artistry quality. Wow. 8-track. What a piece of crap. And then we have... The turntable, very, very plasticky, cheap, doesn't work, it's just skipping. I'm just, I'm basically just letting it run. Maybe the grease will get unfrozen. I've already took a hair dryer to this center bearing and heated it up to get it to work. Uh, the stereo works. Sounds okay, I guess. Let's go. Yeah, turntable. Yeah, and it just freezes if you hit reject. The grease is totally dried out. Like, totally hard and crispy. <laughs> So, um, I don't know what's going to happen to this. I might just pull the turntable and smash the 8-tracks and trash the tuner. Look at, look, oh, did you see this? Ooh, Sears with the radiation symbol, because that is just so cool and high-tech, and radiation gives you superpowers. Um, blah, blah, stereo receiver. Oh, and it came with the book. This is, this is the best part of it, the book. You never find these things with the book. So, in it we have, oh, maybe I should cover the guy's name so he doesn't sue that shit out of me. So here we go. Here is the paperwork. Selling price, $349. Huh. July 15th. What year? What year was this? 1980. 1980. $349. Let's see, how much is that? I'm going to look this up on the uh, inflation calculator, okay? Just to see how much ridiculous price this is. Ooh, solid state. AM, FM, FM. Wow, dual FM, stereo, radio, phonograph. <laughs> Sears quality, right? Your new stereo features a solid state. Ooh, deluxe. AM, FM, FM stereo radio receiver with the automatic frequency control and FM and FM stereo reception. FM and FM. Oh, that's a great. A three-speed re record changer equipped with a 
queuing lever. Whoa, a queuing lever? Oh, how deluxe. And uh, what else? Um, blah, blah, blah. Oh, wow. Blah, 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 blah. Prevent electric shock. Please do not piss on this unit or smoke your vape nearby. Blah, blah, blah. Ooh. We have some service data here. What is this? Is this the schematic? After the storage fills up and cuts me off, as usual, per every video, jeez, we can get back to looking at this stupid paperwork. So, here it tells you how to use the turntable in case you're an idiot. Like, really? Anyway, what I wanted to see was the schematic. Can we... Zoom in on this. Like, look at that. You think you think anyone could ever read this? Like, this is just a gimmick. This is just a gimmick when you buy one. They're like, oh, here, have the schematic. But, like, if you ever actually wanted to service this thing, this schematic is way too small. It's just stupid. What's this? Does this show, like, some more, like, locations of, like, the parts and stuff? Oh. No. I want you to turn around. Oh, such fine quality of that turntable. Um, let's see, what else do we got going on in this book? Wait a minute. I just touched that and it made a... Ooh. Ooh. That's some fine quality. Um, yeah, what else? Is that, is that it? Because, uh... It goes into the French side of it over here, so I'll say that's it for this, this book. All right. Oh yeah, you want to see the tape? Here, I'll show you how good this thing works. It does nothing. Tape does nothing. It's dead. Or twelve locations, including our new Amazon. Or shop online at appliances.com. Did you improve subway app? Wow, that's some fine audio quality. Distortion free sound. Now get two dollars off any footlong like our new chip. Oh look, it still has the plastic. Wow. Unboxing video. Wow, vintage plastic. Ooh, hoo -hoo. Ooh deluxe. It's basically brand new. Ooh, get the vaccine, everyone. Get the vaccine. Blah, 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 blah. Corona time. All right, now here's what happens when you close the lid. It's stuck. Come on, go down. Yeah, let's just take a moment to appreciate the fine particle board, pressed wood, plastomatic, crap, hideous styling, all plastic. Look at this plastomatic design. It's all plastic. All particle board and plastic. And it's so ugly. Ugh. Oops. Not the vintage. Wouldn't want to destroy our lovely cartridge or turntable. The locks. So, uh, $349. In today's money, that's $1,269. But, uh, of course, the uh, app I found to do that was uh, 
in American dollars. So I don't know what Canadian dollars that would be, but um, that's uh, kind of shows like, could you imagine paying a thousand dollars for this? Like seriously? Could you imagine actually paying a lot of money for this thing? What a piece of shit. Like really? A thousand dollars? Of today's money in 1980 that would buy you a cheap particle board case some cheap 8 inch speakers with some 2 inch tweeters a cheap plastic turntable a super cheap tuner all plastic with some fake aluminum crap on it a crappy 8 track player like seriously really huh